watching me on YouTube. Good. Hello again, my best and hound friends and ladies. Welcome back to some more of the song review franchise series. I'm Mark the Punk Gamer, aka Mark a Punk. Um, since I did my Saw 2 review, I'm moving on to Saw 3. So I'm still continuing on the Saw franchise train. So with the third installment that also directed by Daryl Lynn Bowsman, which I'm really excited to get into, to be honest, since this is actually an awesome sequel, in my opinion, since the second one. And uh, I really want to get into this review. Spoilers, there's no mixed opinion, no negatives about this one, so spoilers. It's all going to be positives for this one, so let's get started with the Saw 3 review. So, I like the revenge story of Jeff Denlin about finding his son's killer. I really like their uh, revenge type flick in the series, which is awesome. And also the story between Amanda Young and uh, Tobin Bella's Jigsaw. So that's a really cool story. Um, she makes her last return in this sequel, and she's a lot different than the last two sequel, last two sequels she was in. So she's a lot different in this movie, which is great. It's about her test not to be a um, a killer in some way, but she fucked that rule up in some way. Also, another concept for this, um, Dr. Lynn Denlin has to keep Jigsaw alive as long as possible, so if his um, heart rate flatlines, that means he's dead, and also she, she's dead, she's wearing that shotgun collar, which is awesome, in my opinion, in that movie, that's cool, so, it's kind of a situation, you have to do that, so, that's a different concept, what this movie is. Not only I like the story of this one, the whole story concept of all three of these, um, I really like the meatpacking setting of this movie. Um, it's really cool the way Darren Lynn Bousman directs the dark and demented scenes of this movie. It's really good. Um, really cool. So, And the way he moves the camera and stuff too. It's a lot more demented than the last movie, in my opinion, so it's cool. And guys, speaking of d dark and demented, all these traps are fucking good in this movie, in my opinion. And it's hard to pick which one's my favorite out of all these um, traps from Saw 3. So, the angel trap is really cool. And also adding to the bloody cherry on top of this movie is my favorite trap in the whole series is the frickin' rock trap where the guy is on a cross and his arm was twisted all the way back. That's one of the coolest trap in the series. Um, and uh, like I said, um, sign of the cross, bitch, in a more demented, brutal way. And my final positive about this movie is all the casting choices are really good in this movie, in my opinion. 
But I'm mostly invested in liking Tobin Bell and, and uh, Shawnee Smith in this movie. I still have fun with the, the Jeff character as well. On the revenge path to kill the drunk driver who killed his son type storyline. So, pretty cool. So, and uh, great directing in my opinion in this third movie. It's dark and demented, which I like in the series. So, awesome. And uh, that's all positive, guys. So, I have no mixed about this movie or negatives about this movie. Um, I don't need anything changed about this movie. I don't, I don't hate anything in this movie. I think it's one of the best sequels in my opinion. So, that's why it's going to be awesome in the series. So, I'll give my final rating at the end of this final obvious rating in this end of this review so holy crap I really like this sequel guys so there you go it's gonna be my obvious rating at the end so yeah definitely Saw 3 is my favorite in the series so holy crap so I really like about this movie so I'm gonna end the Saw 3 review right now um, if you enjoy the Saw 3 um, horror movie review, share this one and also like it uh, so I can get more views and subscribers. Oh, and you can friend me on my Facebook on the description of my video as well. And uh, then we're going to move on to the Mark Hoffman era of the Saw franchise, 4 through 3D now. So we'll see if my opinions change on one of those. But for right now, guys, um, I really enjoyed Saw 3 more, guys, than the last two sequels. So, and, and then I'll see you in Saw 4, the beginning of the Mark Hoffman era. So, seizure, later. <laughs>